I'm Yasmin Willen and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Simon, which is the ex-boyfriend of Farrah Abraham. It seems like he has just gone through this like enlightenment phase to where his life and his lifestyle and everything about him has like changed for the positive i know he has been like posting a lot of pictures recently like all over his social media just saying how he is in a better place he is in a better mind space headspace he is just overall healthier simon has been saying like how he is just overall healthier like his mental state his physical state everything about him is just healthier he's been stating how he has been eating properly you know making sure he's getting regular work Workouts. he's been focused on his work you know his income and stuff like that he stated that you know he just wasn't in the best place a few years ago he had you know he had gained a lot of weight uh, mentally he was just really beat down he wasn't really doing the best you know at his work and his career and that he's actually doing better so a lot of people speculate that the reason why he's doing better and even Simon kind of touched on this briefly he didn't say her name but he's been saying kind of subliminally along with other people that the reason why he is overall healthier is because he got out of a bad relationship with Farrah Abraham now as we all know Farrah and Simon were together for quite some time like on and off and he claimed that Farrah was just verbally abusive she just was not the nicest to him um, she would boss him around she would demean him talk down to him and I know he's not lying and I know he's not innocent as well I know he's done things but we're talking about Farrah so I know like in the episodes of Teen Mom when she was on Teen Mom she would say certain things to him she would get annoyed she would get aggravated um, she would tell him to just you know screw off leave me alone stuff like that now I know that MTV can you know chop and screw things to make it look certain ways they don't air the full entirety of what's actually going on I know Simon is not innocent I know that um, he can sometimes get on her nerves or say or do something that isn't and that's not the best or he'll just say something and he'll he like knows it's gonna aggravate her but I guess it just depends on Farrah's response to that right so I don't know I'm super happy for him that he's actually looking a lot better I mean ladies what do you all think about this he looks clean shaven he looks like he's taking care of his health he looks like he's just overall better he looks like he just is focused on himself and that's really all that matters to him him and his family and I think it's really commendable to get out of a bad relationship that's just bringing you down and you can actually get back onto your feet because a lot of people after they after they get out of like marriages or bad relationships it takes time to get out you know to get on your feet but some people never even meet that threshold some people still struggle for years after and it seems like Simon has definitely bounced back a lot so I'm super happy for him Farrah seems to be doing Farrah she seems to be putting up Christmas trees ha half naked and, you know, putting up ornaments half naked, but she's claiming it's like a family fun event. She's just still like off her rocker, clearly, but I don't know. Farah is always going to be that way. Farah is Farah. It seems like she's just coping with life as well. So I wonder how this entire court case is going to like work out because I know that Farah and Simon both co-signed together a lease when she had like all her businesses like her what is it like her furniture shop her yoga shop and stuff like that they were both on those leases and Farah just stopped paying those leases or he just stopped paying those leases so they're both being taken to court currently I have not heard any updates in regards to that but I hope Simon takes care of that I hope that he can just work on himself and I am super happy for him so hopefully everyone who's dealing with like bad relationships whether it's friendships family relationships can just bounce back get healthy get to the gym you know start eating right focus on yourself focus on leisure activities for yourself like Simon has he's definitely an example of getting out of a bad situation and um, relationship so what do you all think about this I know this is kind of different I haven't really talked about Simon on my YouTube channel so it's kind of weird but um, this is crazy that you know they have come this far or he's come this far because I actually liked Simon who like I actually loved Simon like I don't know what it is he did seem like he had like you know a little bit of um, ways like you know a little like 
normal guys you know he's like a little bit edgy but i did like him overall and even farrah's dad liked him but farrah just seemed too pushy too clingy she was trying to push sophia on him then she would demean him and just do crazy stuff so i'm super happy for him let me all know what you think in the comment section below on this entire situation involving simon actually being a lot happier where he's at amid getting out of that relationship with fair abraham i'm yasmin woodland if you're new here make sure you let me know in the comment section below so i can give you a big warm welcome and then i will go from there so have a great day and until next time see ya